Hey everyone, this is AKC12. I will be explaining how to set up the F Zero GX mod. I have gotten a lot of messages on people having issues with trying to play the mod after they applied it. So I'm gonna go ahead and explain it because there are many different options um, that you have. There might be a better way of doing this, but I felt it was easier just to keep everything within a single zip folder. All right, let's get started. So I presume you have already, you already have a copy of an ISO file to apply the mod to, which will be this file here. And I presume you have already extracted the files, the root folder. So let me grab that right now on the right screen here. Um, I will be applying it to this folder here. All right. I presume this is the first time you're trying to apply the mod, so you'll need to download this full zip folder here containing all the files and all the versions. I'll be, and this is it right here. So I'll be doing, so first you need to choose whether you want to apply the mod with just the normal 26 courses or the mod that includes some of the story mode courses. So I'll be doing the standard. Now first thing is the system data folder. So there, so this ISO files only applies to the US version of the game. If you have a European or Japanese version, I would avoid this file completely. Instead, if you do, if you would like to change the ID of the game, all you need to do is open it up. You might need to download a hex editor for it. And then I would recommend changing this G over here to a U instead. And then save it. This lets you if you, this lets you share a memory card with your normal GX save, but instead it'll create a new save file instead of sharing all the files together. So you can either do that or replace the file, which already, and this file has the modified game ID by the way. So if you don't mind sharing a save file, you can ignore this file and this should be you just copy them over let me actually go through it with it I do want to replace this file I can just copy this folder over And then in this game folder, you have two options. So no camera change, all the cameras for all the machines are left unchanged. The better camera, however, sort of fixes the camera for Red Gazelle, Wild Goose, White Cat, and Wonder Wasp for those who don't like the quirks of those machines' cameras. So I'll be replacing this one. Simple enough. I believe this one, you just do everything. Yeah, just one file. It has to do something with the menu textures and whatnot. And this is all the music that I decided to put into this mod. And finally, the staff goes. So. If you are a very skilled player, you probably want to do the Grandmaster Staff Ghost. And then you have your choice between Staff Ghosts that use side attacks and Staff Ghosts not having not using side attacks at all. Being a side attack player, I will be doing this option. And just dump it in here. However, if you're not an expert at this game, you would just dump all the files from here instead. 
And finally, or perhaps this is the first thing you could have done, you could just copy these four files over. Okay, with that, that's all the files, so I will rebuild this root folder now to create a modified ISO. I'll open up the GameCube Rebuilder here. Go to root open. Documents. Make sure to select the root folder. Then save it to the copy of the vanilla game. I will rename it. Oh, I'll rename it later. Say yes. And rebuild. And as you can see here, the game code is UFZE instead of GFZE. From that one, from copying over that file. All right, I will run the game now. Just oh, looks like it updated some of these titles here, but not all of them for some reason. All right, so this is the file I just built. And hopefully this works. It should ask me, oh, I already do have a save file with that game ID, actually. And there you have it. This is how you build the or apply the mod for Unleashed. I'll be making another video on how to use the patcher I provided, which is a much faster way of doing this.